Hi, I'm Steve Jones, and I'm going to look about at uh, probability, and this is basically what probability is. It's uh, maybe easiest to think of it as the uh, chance of something happening against the chance of it not happening. So if I take a coin out of my pocket and I toss it, I know it's got two sides, and I know it's got to either l land with its head side up or its tail side up. So there's a 50% possibility it will land with its heads up and 50% tails up. So that is a very simple example. It doesn't matter how many times I toss it. If I toss it 100 times, each time I toss it, there will still be a 50-50 chance of it landing heads up, tails down, or tails up, heads down. The same chance. But at the same time, if I toss it a hundred times, in other words, a hundred tosses, I should get about 50 heads and about 50 tails. That's the law of probability. But every time I toss the coin, it's still a 50-50 chance. Now with a die, I toss it, it's got six sides. And if it's got six sides, it's got six ways of landing. And therefore, uh, I have a, what, what, is the, what is the chance? A one in six chance of getting each number. So if I tossed it 36 times, it's a nice easy number for us, 36 times, I would, expect, I would expect six times each number. If I actually do the experiment, I will probably find it lands five times with a six, eight times with a five, and so on. It won't give me an exact number. And each time I toss it, there is still a one in six chance of landing on each number. If I tossed it 3,600 times, instead, almost certainly, instead of six times each number, it should be 600 times each number. And in this situation, I would expect it to be very close to 600 for each of those numbers. Probability is something that happens when we do something a lot of times. It doesn't happen when we do it once, only when we do it a lot of times. So the bigger the numbers get, the nearer it gets to our probability forecast.